anything is an improvement. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to call the um, Board of Adjustments meeting for September 23rd, 2014, order. Uh, roll call of members. Uh, my name is Brad Walker, Chairman, President. Mr. Jim Cecil? Present. Ms. Kathy Desidere, Vice Chairman? Present. Mr. Mike Brew? Present. Mr. Willie Robinson? Present. Mr. Devin Graham? Mr. Aaron Lawyer? Present. All right. At this time, I'd like to open it up for public comment period. If anybody has anything for or against the Board of Adjustments, please come forward. Um, this is just strictly for comments against the Board of Adjustments or for the Board of Adjustments. If you're here to talk about an agenda item, um, save it for that agenda item. You'll be able to speak at each agenda item. Anybody? Okay, closing public comment period. You'll hear a motion to accept the minutes of the August 26th meeting. So moved. Second. Second. All right. Got a motion by Ms. Kathy Desidere, second by Mr. Willie Robinson to accept the minutes of the August 26, 2014 meeting. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Abstain. All right. Abstain. Man, that's going to cause me to write more. All right. Factual for meetings, so we wouldn't have to do that. All right. Do I hear a motion to accept the written decisions at the August 2006-2014 meeting? So moved. Do I hear a second? I'll second that. All right. Got a motion to approve the written decisions of August 26-2014 meeting by Ms. Kathy Desdere, second by Mr. Mike Brew. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Stay. All right. Going to our first public uh, hearing. Uh, zoning Review ID 2454.14 for Brian Chalette, located on the south side of Denverhurst Road, located approximately 1,000 feet west of LA Highway 941. Is somebody here to talk about this? Um, you representing this variance? Uh, yes, sir, I'm Brian. Okay, come on. Get sworn in for us. We just swear in the applicants. We don't swear in all the people that speak. Tell us what you're trying to do and what's your hardship. Well, I have a five acres uh, cleared out. With a, I put a single wide on it, and I'm putting in a, a home, and I want to move the single wide to the front of the property for my sister right here living. And what I'm actually need is another address for the property. Okay. Why haven't you surveyed it out in different lots? Uh, I'm, I really don't want to split it up. Keep it in the family. I'm not subdividing it. I'm just, she doesn't have a place to live. Okay. She just moved here from, well, Lake Charles probably six months ago. What's currently on the property? No. Well, we have that one single lot in the back. That okay. I'm going to move to the front. Then we're going to build a modular home in the back. Anybody have any questions? Is there a um, hardship case or a hardship involved here um, other than you don't want to so, uh, divide the lots up? I, I guess the hardship is, <coughs> um, you know, I want to give her a place to live. Uh, and. You know, the, the property eventually go to, our, you know, our two daughters. So, it's really hard, you know. Lance, is there any reason preventing it from being split up? To accommodate what he's doing? Would the lots be too small and not enough frontage? I have a map here of the property. It's five yeah. acres. Yeah, we have that. Yeah. Yeah. We have it. <coughs> It could be subdivided, it looks like there's enough road frontage and also enough land for sure to subdivide it to, to do that. But like you stated, you just didn't want to subdivide it at this time. Okay. 
All right. Any other questions, Joe? Okay. Have a seat. We're going to open up a public comment period. If anybody has anything for or against this variance, please come forward. Closing public comment period. Do I have a motion? Question, discussion. Well, uh, I think my discussion is that it's going to resolve around that the only way we're allowed to give secondary residences is because of a hardship and it's supposed to be um, basically a immediate family member which this does not fall within. Anybody else? I mean the decision comes down to it is whether we want to um, is there a hardship when it can be split up? Um, it can still stay in his name. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just different lots. You know, right. still you're not selling it to the individual, but you can still subdivide it. If he'd subdivide it in different his own name, he can still put that trailer on there. Yeah, yeah. And we wouldn't be setting a precedent for it to happen all around the parish. Right. right. Okay, I'm going to move that we deny the motion, I mean the variance. Uh, there is an alternative solution to have it subdivided. <coughs> and there was no hardship met. Mm -hmm. We'll second, second that motion. All right. I got a motion by Ms. Cassidy Desideer to deny, second by Mr. Aaron uh, Lawyer. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, motion was denied. All right, next zoning review ID 2455.14. Located on the north side of Miller Road, approximately 900 feet east of LA Highway 928 Bluff Road. Is somebody here to represent this variance? Please come forward. Tell us what your hardship is and what you're trying to do and get sworn in, please. Um, I have an elderly grandmother. I was wondering if I could put a what is it, trailer house on my land. But I only have 0.63 acres instead of 0.66 acres. Okay. Where is your grandmother currently? Carville. Carville. Okay, and um, is she in poor health or is there hardship present? She's elderly and she has a bad back, yeah. Okay, so is she unable to take care of herself or? It's getting to that point, yes ma'am. Normally we add a uh, stipulation to anything that we're gonna put like this a second uh, residents on there would be um, it cannot become a rental property and has to be removed once the individual is no longer living in it. Uh, it'd have to be removed off the lot. Um, would you be okay with that stipulation? Yes, okay. Any other questions? All right, have a seat. We're going to open up public comment period. Anybody would like to speak for or against this variance, please come forward. All right, closing public comment period. Do I hear a motion? Discussion, questions? I'll go ahead and make the motion to accept this on a course. As he's, as the chairman has explained, if ever at, at our time she's not living in this uh, trailer for residence, then she, it has to be removed. And you know how we check that, right? Power's got to be in her name. Her name. Okay. So, letting you know that's going to be the stipulation. 
of this motion. And she accepts it. So I'll go ahead and make the motion to accept. I hear a second. Second. Okay. Got a motion to accept the variance uh, with the stipulation that the trailer be removed if the current occupant or applying for the variance is no longer living in there. Uh, also, no rental property. And, and meter has to be in their name. Is that what you said? Uh, yes. All right. And a second by Mr. Willie Robinson. All those in favor? Aye. All right, motion passes with stipulation. All right, our last zoning review ID, 2457.14 for lot 46, Canal Bank, second filing for Michael and Vicki Vignair, located on the north side of Bayou Terrace, approximately 7,000 feet south of Highway LA-22. Um, somebody here to represent this variance. Let's warn him, please. Tell us what you're trying to do, please. Yes, uh, we built in a house on uh, Bayou Terrace, and we had the plans drawn up in 2011 before the uh, setbacks on the side were changed from, I think it was five feet to 10 feet. And the plans currently have uh, seven feet, six inches on the setbacks on the side. So the variance is to uh, go with the seven foot, uh, six inch variance on the side. And uh, if we can't get that variance, we'd have to change the plans and have a set of uh, engineered stamp for the pilings that everything would have to change on the, the plans. So you're looking at being seven feet from the property line? Does that include your Eve? Or are we talking about six foot from the property line? Well, that, that, that was the main, the main house. No, is seven it foot, seven? Yes. You have to tell seven us with six. the overhang. So is it seven foot without the overhang, or is it six foot with the 12 inch overhang? It would have to be six foot, six inches with the one foot overhang. Okay. And are you wanting this on the side that is right next to 13338? It's both, it's both sides. Mm -hmm. It's kind of looking like with that 1338. Did 1338 have a variance? I'm sure that was built probably. Might have been built before. I don't believe so. I don't believe so. No, sir. It looks even closer than five feet, though. I know. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't go by that. Yeah, I mean, it's no. kind of skewed, but you can kind of tell it's a... Okay, any other questions? Okay, have a seat. We'll open up the public comment period. If anybody has anything for or against this variance, please come forward. Oh, you can now. All right, closing public comment period. Questions? Well, you haven't started building yet? No, sir. Okay. All right, do I have a motion? quiet tonight no, man, it's... part of my concern is is that if anything happens towards the back of that property we don't have fire truck access to that because it looks like the neighbor has some big huge trees blocking and this is down there about a diversion. I know. And the yeah. fire department uses the boat before the boat will get there, before the yeah. fire trucks will get there. Oh, okay. That's yeah. right. I yeah. didn't think about that part. Um, they, they used do. it not too long ago. They do, yes. <laughs> yes, they just recently got a boat. Yeah, and that boat got there before the fire trucks did. Yes. So. Even though they have a substation right there. 
You have a motion? I'm going to move that we accept um, and allow the 6.6 .6 variance. Okay. I second that motion. Okay, got a motion to approve the variance as written by Ms. Kathy Desdier, second by Mr. Aaron Law. Here. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye but Aye. Um, he wrote 7.6. So. When it, the variance is still 2.6 feet. Did yes. your variance include the um, no. overhang? No, sir, it did not, no. So his uh, variance <coughs> requesting is 3.6? Three, six. Three, yeah, six. we need to give 3.6 and okay. to do it. The motion is to approve it at a 3.6 variance. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Motion passes. Any old business? Nope. No. Any new business? Nope. Nope. Make a motion to. Motion to adjourn. Right here, second. Second. I'll second. Oh, All right. ladies first. All right, got a motion by Mr. Jim Cecil, second by Mr. Willie Robinson to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. We are adjourned. <laughs>